Greetings, everyone. I come to you on this Wusa Wednesday. In my prayer, I ask God to give me the words of wisdom to share with all the caregivers of the world. A caregiver is anyone who provides help to another person in need, such as an ill spouse, a disabled child, or an aging parent or relative. I have seen firsthand the stress of a caregiver, and it's hard to bear. It leaves many heartbroken, overwhelmed, disoriented, and feeling inadequate. This can spiral downward into burnout, marked by utter exhaustion and despair. There was a time where I fussed and said, if you don't care for yourself, no one else will. Her pain made me think of the burden that nearly 35 million Americans caring for loved ones, specifically in my family's case, Parkinson's. Then there's Alzheimer's, cancer, physical disabilities, and other enduring illnesses that require care. Most caregivers report significant stress, and that's certainly consistent with her experience over the last decade serving as the chief caregiver. You must practice self-care and don't get hooked on self-defeating habits, which can transform stress into burnout. I ask today that you sincerely listen to five ways to care for yourself as a caregiver. Number one, self-compassion is essential to self-care. Two, practice simple breathing exercises for 10 minutes a day. One of the simplest deep relaxation techniques is breath awareness. Three, try a mind-body practice like yoga, meditation, deep relaxation techniques. There's smartphone apps now for those. Number four, make eating well and getting quality sleep priorities. May sound difficult, but you must do that. Self-care is so vital for your health. Number five, remain socially connected. Find a support through local caregiving groups. Reach out to family members, other friends. There's now more ways to socially connect with others than ever. Stress is a mighty burden for caregivers, but the good news is that there are new ways to handle stress, avert burnout, and redirect energy towards self-care and other fruitful outcomes. These new habits will hold out hope for caregivers struggling to stay alive and sustaining loving care. Even more, it's liberating to know that you can remain authors of your own lives instead of victims of crushing circumstances as you are faced with the heartbreaking journey of caregiving. May God be with you. Take care and don't forget.